Welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Monarch Butterfly Grove in Pismo Beach, California. Monarch butterflies migrate south for the winter and there are 200 or so butterfly preserves along the California coast and this one is the largest. You can see from this chart that the number of butterflies migrating has declined over the last several years but as of today there are 22,000 butterflies in this grove alone so that is a very positive sign. Anyway, let's go take a look around and see some of these butterflies. Pismo Beach is about a three hour drive north of Los Angeles so this isn't a day trip but there are a lot of interesting things to see in Pismo Beach so it's a perfect place to go for a weekend getaway. But why care about the monarch butterflies? Imagine a world without flowers. No wedding bouquets, nothing to give your lover on Valentine's Day, no centerpieces at meals, no fragrant smells in the spring, no flower markets, and barren hillsides instead of fields of poppies or daisies or wildflowers. Sounds pretty bleak, right? That's why monarch butterflies are so important. They are the pollinators, the ones who spread pollen so that flowers can grow. That's why the decline of the butterflies overwintering here is so concerning. Last year, there were less than 2,000 butterflies here, but so far this year, there have been over 22,000. So that is really promising. When you come to the butterfly grove, be sure to bring binoculars or a good zoom lens on your camera. Otherwise, this is what you're gonna see. Can you make out the cluster here or here? You can see some of the butterflies flying around, right? Worth the trip? No. This is what you want to see. Monarchs don't like cold weather. In fact, they can't even fly if it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 13 degrees Celsius or less. So when it starts to get cold, they start flying south towards Mexico. The migration period is November through February, and the peak time to see them is in the middle of that period, around the holidays. Not all of the butterflies go all the way to Mexico. Some are content to stay here in California for the winter. I can relate to that. You've heard the phrase social butterfly? There's a reason for that. Scientists have found that these butterflies are very social creatures. As you can see, they like to be in a cluster, but they may stop here for a while, then go to another grove and visit for a while, then to another and another. And you might ask, how do they know that? These butterflies pretty much all look the same. I'm glad you asked. What scientists did is gently tag their wings with an adhesive colored dot. This does not hurt the butterfly at all or inhibit its ability to fly. Each butterfly grove has a different colored dot. Then they just watched to see where the butterflies went and found they were very social indeed. This grove has a mobile gift shop. There are benches to sit on and these information boards to tell you more about the monarch butterfly. There were a few other people who were here while I was here but just as I was leaving, three busloads of tourists pulled up to the grove. <laughs> I was glad to be leaving then. <laughs> I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching.